Yo, YouTubers and comic fans worldwide. Yes, Gino the Dragon is back with another comic call from my LCS. It's been a few weeks or a month. I don't even know when when I last made my or when I made my last video. But here I am. Got to work on my schedule so I can get back to making some videos with some kind of frequency. Shout out to Manga Comics. He was like, Gino, you need to get back on YouTube right now. Make another video ASAP. Or he's going to send the flash over here to beat me up. But no, uh, shout out to Manga Comics. He didn't say that. I was messing around. But yeah, so here we are. Got a lot of comics. So let's do this. Actually, had I'm missing some because <clears throat> I had some previous orders. But I don't know if my order made it in time. So I'll have to be on the lookout for those. And plus, I got a f few issues they found for me that should have been in my last video that uh, I missed out on. So, so yeah. So first up, of course, you got previews, got Transformers, and uh, Wonder Woman, Meredith and David Finch should be coming soon. Probably won't check that out, but it's Wonder Woman. She's all right. Kind of over David Finch's style. I liked it for a while, but I don't know. It's kind of over it now. So these first four books, Ninja Turtles 2014 Annual, Prometheus Fire and Stone number one. I think it's number one. Um, Detective Comics Futures in number one. And Avengers 34.1. All of these you throw in for free. And I'll tell you why. Because <clears throat> uh, Ninja Turtles annuals, I don't read those. I had the very first one. I do like, I'm reading Ninja Turtles a series. But after the first annual, I said. No more of their annuals because they're absolute trash. And I didn't like it at all. Plus, they're like eight bucks and it just wasn't fun. So I used to skip them all. But he said, go ahead, take it for free, whatever. So shout out to him. And Prometheus, I will be reading the other AVP series. So it's Alien vs. Predator, Aliens, and then another uh, a solo. It was Alien vs. Predator. And then a solo Alien series and a solo Predator series. But Prometheus, I don't care for. I didn't like the movie. And I mean, I'll read this because it has uh, first because he threw in it for free. But it has two creators, Paul Tobin and Juan Ferreira, I like, who created the other Dark Horse series called, was it uh, Calder? I think it's Calder. Um, it's pretty cool. Five issue series. And they have a volume two. A volume two which should be out this year. I forgot the subtitle. Um, but yeah, so check that out. And then with this, Futures In stuff, but I have no idea what this even is. I don't know what's going on. All I know is DC is doing another month of crazy stuff with 3D covers, some nonsense, whatever. Since has got Batman and Riddler on here. So yeah, I usually skip these crazy months because it's usually... Just pull some uh, surrounding craters on a title and then just some story that ended up being re pretty irrelevant. So <clears throat> no lasting ramifications. And then last one, Avengers 34.1, which I am reading Avengers, but I've yet to see the point of the point ones. So I think the very first one I got was like Amazing Spider-Man 654.1. It's something to do with Venom. I don't know if it was like Venom and yeah, it might've been the start of Age of Venom or something. I don't know, but they tend to be pretty pointless. Point one, pointless. So anyways, on to my regular books. Got Deadly Class number seven, which I had on my chopping block for a while and I officially cut it off my pull list when I hit my shop up yesterday. But go ahead and take this off. I don't care about this series anymore. It's not as fun. A series that is fun, one of my favorite series right now. East of West, number 15. Definitely go check out this title if you're not reading it. Highly recommend it. Hickman, Dragota, Martin. This awesome title. So yeah, go get on that. Another highly recommended read, Velvet. For all my uh, fellow spy fans. Check this out. This is Velvet number 7. The Secret Lives of Dead Men. She was a woman on the run, and soon she would be in his sights. 
Well, damn his sights. She's going to kick his ass or whatever. But yeah, awesome series. Check that out. And jump back over to Dark Horse. Tomb Raider number seven. As I said before, I enjoyed the Tomb Raider game, the reboot. And uh, similar to Deadly Class, I had this book on my chopping block and officially cut it. The series just doesn't hold up. It's just not as entertaining as I was hoping. So, yeah. And then back to Brubaker. Got the fade out number one. Uh, this came out, I don't know. I think it was uh, like mid-August or something. But I really didn't know much about it. So the day it came out, I came across it online. You know, just kind of reading about it. And I like Brubaker. So Brubaker, Sean Phillips, good team. So I called up my shop, had him throw a copy in my box. So there's that. Sex Criminals number seven. Uh, pretty fun series. I really like this cover. The purple, gray, and white. It's awesome. Pretty smooth. So yeah. And hop over to Boom Studios. Got Translucid, six of six. Um, I've actually already read the series. I just want the physical copies. Um, I was reading the press copies. It's a pretty cool series. I really didn't know where it was going, what was going to happen with it. But by the end of it, I was definitely entertained. And uh, I plan on doing like a series overview, like sort of review on my blog coming up soon. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, if you're interested in new stories, kind of like superheroes, like one superhero, supervillain, and uh, just kind of a different take on like good and evil. And it's got a really cool, I like the coloring. Coming is really kind of kind of smooth, like this very uh like psychedelic like vibe to it. It works really well. How back over to Dark Horse? We got the Strain, the Night Eternal, number two. Uh, his eyes and spies are everywhere. You can't escape the master. This is the third volume after the Strain and the Strain the Fall. Also, the Strain uh, television series is on right now. If you're not watching that, go check it out. I'm really digging it. Although some of the some characters I really don't like. It's all like the. It seems like all the significant others or like close family members of all the main characters are really foolish, and hella annoying. So yeah. Here we at Uncanny X Men number twenty five. Never go wrong with that, especially with Chris Bacallo on there. Got Moon Knight number seven. It's actually the start of a new creative team. So curious to see what they do there. Jordy Belair is still on there though. This is color, so color of supreme. And Captain America number 24. Getting close to the end of this series. Got the homie Falcon. And who did this cover? This cover seems it's not Pacheco, is it? It looks like. Where are the cover credits? Color art. Maybe it was Pacheco. No, yeah, okay, it is. Pacheco on white. Okay. Dean White. And Black Widow. Uh, similar to like East of West and Velvet. Just fantastic series. One, some, another one of my favorite series going on right now. She probably actually beat out Daredevil as my favorite Marvel series right now. So, uh, yeah, if you want some spy stuff or some, like, that secret agent stuff, like, pick up Black Vel Black Widow and Velvet. You can't go wrong there. Avengers World. Got Marco Checo on art. Mm, this is a pretty cool series. I didn't really see what the point of it was, like all the other Avengers books. But you could feel like it could have just been the main series as well. But, yeah, it's been good, so... Keeping it going. Then we got Punisher number 10. Uh, I dropped Punisher 2. Like it was decent, but it doesn't. There's not a lot of other books that it beats out in quality, or at least as far as just my interest. So, yeah, I have to go ahead and drop that. Like I said, I'm trying to cut down my pool list, so we'll see how that goes. Every time I drop like eight or nine books, I end up. Uh, adding other books on there that I was picking up regularly anyway. So that might not really make much 
change X Men number nineteen. This is part of the new creative team as well. After Brian Wood and uh, some of the others left, so we'll see what's going on there. Wolverine and the X Men number eight cover featuring Wolverine and Storm. Uncanny Avengers number twenty three featuring Wolverine in a stupid ass costume. It looks like Constrictor's costume. Like it's just so it's a terrible look. Like who designed that? It's awful, awful look. Avengers thirty four. All new X Men thirty one. V Wars number five from IDW. I don't think I've gotten into the first issue this yet. I don't know. Ghostbusters number nineteen. Hang around that thirtieth anniversary, baby. Another IDW book. Uh, the Seventh Sword number four. Cyclops number four. Secret Avengers number seven. Got AIM, Deadpool with crazy guns. Why? Why is he even in Secret Avengers? I think he's got enough appearances everywhere else. New Avengers number 23. Who's Walker? I was trying to see. The oh, Kev Walker. Okay. Oh, okay, I like his style. Kev Walker did some. Uh, what did he do? He might have did some Thunderbolts. Maybe the old Thunderbolts and Avengers Academy, maybe? Electra. I haven't even got to the first issue of this, but uh, Mike Delmondo's awesome cover artist. And you should go check out the cover for Electra number one. That's pretty awesome. So if he brings any of that to the interiors, that's just, that'd be great artistically. Daredevil number seven. Just quality book. Definitely recommended. Judge Dredd number 22. It's pretty cool book from IDW. I really like uh, Nelson Daniels' art and his like depiction of Judge Dredd. So yeah, Dredd, I am the law. Then we have the Strain, the Night Eternal, number one. Mighty Avengers, number thirteen. Got Blade, Daywalker versus Death Walkers. Magneto, number eight. And a new artist on here, Javier Fernandez. Huh, that'd be nice. It's kind of over uh, Walter's art. Storm number two. Uh, I haven't even read the first issue of this yet. So yeah, looking forward to that. Legendary a Steampunk Adventure. It's been a decent read. There's only one more issue. This number six. It's a seven issue series. There's X Men number 18, Terry Dotson on the cover, Wolverine and X Men 7, Original Sin 7, Captain Marvel 6, Captain America number 23, Avengers World 11, who's Ionico? Raphael Ionico. Never heard of him. Let's check out his art. Hmm. Amazing X Men number 10. Kind of got this book on my chopping block, which is weird because it's an X Men book, but we'll see. <clears throat> Hold on, I gotta readjust myself. All right. Amazing X or Amazing Spider Man number five. As long as you keep Ramos on the art, you can't lose. On the X Men number 30. Batman number 34. Ninja Turtles 37. Suicide Risk number 16. Pretty cool series. One of Boom's uh, high quality series. The Bunker number 5. Highly recommended book from Oni Press. If you haven't been reading this, go check it out. Pretty cool, like uh, dealing with like time and I don't know. I can't really describe it well. 
But uh, yeah, you find a better synopsis online. Punisher number nine. I like this cover. Got a Black Widow appearance. Ah, oh yeah, I think they're supposed to cross over. That's right. So this might be it. New Avengers number twenty-two. Look at this cover. It's not Kevin Walker, is it? Like Dale Kwan. Da da da. Cover, cover, cover. Dale Kwan. Yep. And Black Widow number nine with the Punisher in the background. So this is definitely that crossover. Detective Comics number thirty-four. Moon Knight number six, Warren Ellis and Declan Shalvey's last issue. Miss Marvel number eight, I cut this series as well. It was pretty cool, but similar to Punisher, just wasn't wasn't enough to keep it on. Uncanny X Men twenty four, which I believe was one of the issues I was missing from before. So what's that? Bunker number four. Oh, yeah, these two issues, a few issues of the bunker as well that I was missing before. Number four, number three. Electra, number six. Got Sanchez. Who's Sanchez? I don't know who that is. Alex Sanchez. Check out Alex Sanchez's art. Okay, okay. Miles Morales, The Ultimate Spider Man, number five. It's like the, what is this, like the fifth volume of Ultimate Spider-Man or something? Edge of Spider-Verse. Uh, while I was at my shop, I actually had to look up Spider-Verse. Because I saw this issue, I didn't know if this was, I know there was a Spider-Verse event coming up. But I didn't know, like, what it was or how it was labeled. So, I thought this was it. So, I looked it up really quick and I saw this actually wasn't. It's kind of like a precursor, prelude, whatever, to it. And the actual event. Uh, Spider Verse doesn't start for like another two months or something. So, face a decision and got Gwen Stacy as Spider Woman. I flipped through it really quick. It's got a, a decent art style, kind of cool. And I figured, why not Gwen Stacy Spider Woman? Sure, I'll check it out. So there's that. The first issue has Spider Man Noir. And I don't really care for the Spider-Man Noir stuff, so I left that on the shelf. Avengers number 24, March to Axis, Avengers World 13, on the X-Men 32, with Miles Morales. Why? I don't know. I should keep those. Keep the Ultimate Universe separate from the 616. That was the whole point. I should never have merged ever and this is not the first time so I hope they don't do it too often now the judge dread number 23 daredevil number eight with the creepy children children of the corn i don't know what's going on there uncanny x-men number 26 cyclops all over the place the greatest x-man yeah i said it the bunker number six only press of the suicide risk number 17 magneto nine oh walter's back on there nope can't win there captain marvel number seven oh marcel takara's on here Ooh, cool that'd be real nice amazing spider-man number five or six Hawkeye number 20, which is ending at 22 or something, I think. I think it was kind of hit its run. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it wasn't too much more they were doing. So, yeah, not too sad about that. Daredevil vs. Er, Deadpool vs. Carnage number three. I would like to see Daredevil vs. Carnage. Why not? Uh, this is one of the issues I was missing before. As well as this one, Winter Soldier, The Bitter March, number four. Spycraft, the old spy game. And this one as well. Original Sin, number zero. Who is the Watcher? Some very tall, bald-headed guy who, with big eyes who stares at you while you sleep and eat, whatever. 
Superior Spider-Man number 33, Edge of Spider-Verse, Avengers 35, in eight months time runs out. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. Thor God of Thunder from 25, variant apparently. Whatever that means. Superior Spider-Man 32, Edge of Spider-Verse begins with this oversized spectacular. All right. And then last original sin number eight. A watcher. And jump over to Vertigo. You got Coffin Hill. Number eleven. It's kinda cool series. It's kept me interested. I might have it on chopping block though. But yeah, a few more issues in here. X number seventeen from Dark Horse. Dark Horse. You need thick skin in this town. Flesh and blood part one. Back over to Image, uh, Invincible 114, She-Hulk number 8, She-Hulk would be so much better, like, it would jump up several levels with the different artists, where's Frank Cho at, or somebody, so many artists, I would love to see on there, Thunderbolts number 30, Punisher vs. Thunderbolts part 4, that's on the chopping block. Actually, I wasn't too sure about it, but Thunderbolts has actually worked pretty well. Like the team and the chemistry and cool Electra and Punisher, definitely the stars. Spawn, number 246, and this very hideous cover. Crazy looking cover. Not hideous, like ugly, but like gruesome kind of thing. Miss Marvel, number seven. Yeah, I can tell Wolverine has an ugly costume on. Can't hide from me. Batwoman number thirty four, definitely one of the, the better bat or better DC books of their whole lineup. Another Thunderbolts twenty nine, zero number ten, still going like their uh, kind of one shot format. Different having different artists every issue, kind of interesting. Thief of Thieves number twenty three, another fun series. Uh, yeah, so check that out too. Batgirl number 34. What selfie variant cover? Huh. Um, I think the new creative team steps on at 36, like Cameron Stewart and somebody else. I don't know who. Another X 16. Ghost number seven. It's kind of lost a little bit of. It's flavor when Kelly Sue left. If you watch any of my videos, you know I'm a big fan of Kelly Sue. So, uh, so yeah, definitely go check out a lot of her work. The Devil Goes Digital. She-Hulk, number seven. The Hellcat and Giant Man. Whatever. Another Invincible, number 113. And last but not least, Coffin Hill number 10. So, yep. Those are my books. I don't know how many it was. I didn't count them. I uh, wasn't sure how long this video was going to be. I know a lot of people always talk about, like, they hope they're, they don't want their videos to come out too long. I don't mind when you guys make longer videos. Like this one, this will probably end up being about 25 if I keep talking. But if you make, like, longer videos, like 20, 25 minutes, something like that, whatever... Like, usually, I like to watch those when I sit down and eat. Because I either like to watch, like, an episode or something. Like, I'm watching Ghostbusters, the cartoon. So, I have the whole DVD set. So, like, if I sit down and eat a meal, like, I'll just watch an episode of that. Or I'll watch one of your guys' videos. Um, so, yeah. So, hope you enjoy my haul. I got some other videos coming up. I got a bunch of toys coming in. A couple orders of toys. Uh, and... I got a comic haul or a big comic order that I'm going to I have to finalize today. So for my comic shop, so I'm going to go back in my cart and add a bunch of books. I need some more bags and boards and just a ton of comics on my want list and that have been sitting in my cart for a while. So, yep, yeah, that'll be another big video. Uh, eventually when I will come, probably like another if I can get it done today. Then, so like a week or so. Yeah, see what other videos I got coming up. Another one. 
Uh, I might try to do one for PAX contest. Just uh, he has some pretty cool questions in his. Uh, so I always like to do. He yeah, has cool questions. I don't really want the prizes for people's contests. I just like the questions. It just gives me like a a new video to make. So yeah, I'm gonna start rambling and sort these books out and get on with my day. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed seeing my haul video. Seeing me back, making a video. And I'll be back with more. So, happy comic hunting, happy reading, and enjoy yourselves. This is Gino the Dragon saying peace out.